we are asked to factor each expression. It's important to remember the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor. If we don't factor out the greatest common factor, the expression will not be factored completely. Looking at the first expression, we have 5y cubed minus 85y squared plus 360y. We begin by identifying the greatest common factor, which is the highest degree monomial that would divide evenly into each term. Notice each term contains a factor of 5 as well as a factor of y, and 5y is the greatest common factor. To show this, we can write each term as a product with the factor of 5y. For example, 5y cubed is equal to 5y times y squared minus 85y squared is equal to 5y times 17y plus 360y is equal to 5y times 72. While this is an optional step, this can be helpful because it shows the greatest common factor of 5y as well as the remaining factor in each term after we factor out 5y. So again, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor of 5y, which we can now see we're left with y squared minus 17y plus 72. Now notice the trinomial inside the parentheses has a leading coefficient of one, which makes it much easier to factor. If it does factor further, the trinomial inside the parentheses will factor into two binomial factors. So if it factors further, we would have 5y and then times two binomial factors. Because we have a y squared here inside the parentheses and y squared is equal to y times y, we have a y in the first position here and the first position here. And again, because the leading coefficient of the trinomial inside the parentheses is one, the second terms of the binomial factors must be the factors of positive 72 that add to negative 17. So because we're looking for two numbers that multiply and give us a positive and have a negative sum, we are looking for only negative factors of negative 72. Well, negative eight times negative nine is equal to positive 72, and negative eight plus negative nine is also equal to negative 17, which means negative eight and negative nine are the factors we need to factor the trinomial further. Because one factor is negative eight, one of the binomial factors is y minus eight, and because the other factor is negative nine, the other binomial factor is y minus nine. We now have the expression factored completely. Looking at our second example, we have six v to the fourth plus 78 v cubed plus 216 v squared. Again, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor. Looking at all three terms, all terms contain a factor of six, as well as two factors of v, six v squared is the greatest common factor. Again, let's write each term as a product with a factor of six v squared. Six v to the fourth is equal to six v squared times v squared, plus 78 v to the third is equal to six v squared times 13 v. Again, if we have a hard time determining this 13 v, if we divide 78 by six, that gives us 13. And if we divide v to the third by v to the second, we get one factor of v. And then plus 216 v squared is equal to six v squared times 36. Again, if we can't determine the 36, we can always take 216 and divide by six, which will give us 36. In this form, we can see the greatest common factor is six v squared as well as the remaining factor of each term after we factor out six v squared. So now we factor out six v squared. And we can see we're left with v squared plus 13 v plus 36. And now we see if we can factor the trinomial inside the parentheses further. If it does factor, it will factor to two binomial factors. And because the first term inside the parentheses is v squared, which is equal to v times v, we have a factor of v in the first position here and a factor of v in the first position here. And now because the leading coefficient of the trinomial inside the parentheses is one, we now need to find the factors of positive 36 that add to positive 13. The factors of 36 are six times six, four times nine, three times 12, 
2 times 18, as well as 1 times 36. But again, we're looking for the factors that have a sum of positive 13. Well, here we have 6 plus 6, which equals 12, which is not 13. But 4 plus 9 is 13. And therefore, we can stop. The winning factors are positive 4 and positive 9, which means one of the binomial factors is v plus 4. The other binomial factor is v plus 9. And now we have the given expression factored completely. I hope you found this helpful.